active campaign pricing hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you the different price plans that are available on active campaign and what is the best price plan that you should opt for according to your needs so let's get into it now the first thing you might be wondering is what is active campaign and how can you get started well i have a link in the description box down below for you to get started on active campaign and active campaign is basically a email marketing service so if you're looking to start email marketing or any business automation for your business you can definitely check out active campaign with the link in the description box down below and there are very decent plans available on active campaign for you to get started so i'm using a standard size of a thousand contacts for uh, as a reference for how much it's going to cost you so if you bill yearly you're going to be charged a little less but if you charge monthly then it's slightly more on the premium versions of course it the, the difference is larger but it starts at thirty dollars every month and it goes up to two sixty dollars so it has a lot of features active campaign is not a email marketing tool only it can create the landing pages landing page templates website personalization predictive sending predictive content marketing attributions you can have custom domains free design services unlimited uh, email design testing social data enrichment and custom objects as well so it is not limited to email marketing only, it is a whole lot more. Now, this is only the business to consumer version. Now, if we move on to the business to business version, there is a lot more that you can get and there on, and on the e-commerce version, there is a marketing suite where you are going to get optimized data and analytics according to your larger e-commerce business. But for most people that are starting out, I do assume that you're going off of business to consumer and you want to sell, send these emails directly to your customers. So let's compare what the basic version that starts at $30 lacks in comparison to the plus professional and enterprise versions, which start from $50, $150, and $260. I'm rounding off the figures. You can choose not to, but if you bill monthly, this is going to charge you upwards of $323. That's why I like to round off these figures to a decent 50 and 260. Now, if we were to compare the features, you don't get any landing pages on the light version, automations, split automations, built in CRMs, sales automations, contact and lead sourcing, site messages, attributions, predictive sending, and web personalization. And if I go onto my account over here, you can see if I go onto my campaigns, like over here, I have a sample campaign and a test campaign. Now, if I had the premium version, I could easily send this on predictive texting and automatically my uh, active campaign account would send, or active campaign would just send this email automation to a certain customer that are a certain contact. If I go into my contact list over here and it would see like, okay, this contact just bought, like, let's say I'm running a scrunchie business. I was already running a scrunchie business. And let's say if they saw that a person has been buying a lot of these uh, bow tie scrunchies, then what it would do is it would actively go into my campaign section and it would automatically send them a coupon for my scrunchies. And that is the kind of predictive automation that I find to be a very useful feature in active campaign which the light version does not have so that is why i do say that maybe if you're looking to get the uh premium versions then directly opt for the premium versions the plus version or the professional version instead of starting off with the light version just start off with the link in the description box down below and then you can get a trial version of active campaign and then you can upgrade directly to a premium version now after that what are some other things that you're going to get and what are these other things that you're going to lack now First off is my main issue with the light version, which is one user. So if I'm using my active campaign account right now, if I have a teammate or a business partner, they cannot use it at the same time. So that is something that you're going to find a bit annoying if you're running a larger business and there are multiple people using your account. So if there are multiple people managing the business or doing the marketing side or the email campaigns, if multiple people are in charge of that, they cannot use this simultaneously and that is going to be a large issue. So let's say that one person could be designing emails like if i go on to my campaign section over here like one person might be in charge of designing emails and they might want to start designing emails but the other person that is supposed to manage contacts cannot manage contacts at the same time so that is something that is going to be a bit inconvenient on the light version of active campaign now after that you also have your customer user permissions which are not enabled on the light version and you cannot subscribe by sms so active campaign also allows you sms marketing services and that is something that is a bit iffy, like if you want that or not, but you don't get it on the light version if you do want it. Most people do not opt for this feature anyway, so it's not a big deal, but still, 
some people do want a detailed report or a detailed uh, marketing service where they do have the option of sending out SMS. Now, after that, what are some of the extra things like SMS sending and HIPAA compliance? So you don't get that on either the light plus or professional version. You only get that on the enterprise version and then you have integration. So. For integrations, the light version also is uh, stacking a bit behind. There is no database syncing. There is no rebranding. There is no rebranding to the change of HTML on your emails. You cannot customize your application URL or have SMS subscriptions or database syncing. And you also cannot get a lot of phone support or free custom email design services. So that is some of the uh, issues that I have with the light version. But what are the features that I find good on the light version? Well, if I go onto my light version account over here, one thing I really like about even the light version is how easy and simple it is. You can see on my dashboard, I have my contacts, contact trend. I can just manage my entire sales pipeline. My entire marketing strategy can easily be summarized on my dashboard and I can access it at any time. And that is something I find really useful, especially when I was starting off with my business. It really helped me in enabling the overall optimization for my time. Now, after that, another thing I find really helpful is the automation. Now, automations are available even on the light version of Active Campaign, and that is a great blessing because without automation, you're really going to be stuck with email marketing and this really helps you in getting a overall good estimate of how you can uh, you can optimize your email marketing and another good thing about the light version is their report so uh, you get a report on any kind of form so if you go on all campaigns you can you can see all of your campaign reports and if you have specific campaigns over here you can see a specific how a specific campaign is performing in comparison to other campaigns as well you can also also create gold reports, contact reports, detail reports, and all of that on the light version of Active Campaign. So this is why I would definitely recommend for you to check out the link in the description box down below to get started with Active Campaign. Even the light version is definitely something you should be checking out. So make sure to check that link in the description to get started today. Now, what are some of the other features in other than integrations, well, you don't get a lot of customer support on the light version, and that is something that is going to be a bit more annoying for you. But other than that, even the light version, if you're just starting out, it's still a decent option for you. But the plus version is definitely something you should opt for if you're running a larger business. And the professional and enterprise version uh, definitely are something, um, obviously they have all of the features that you would expect them to have, but I usually wouldn't recommend the professional version to most people, even though it is the most popular, because if you're generating that much revenue, I don't think that you're really gonna need it, but it just totally depends if you find some of the predictive sending and predictive content useful enough for your email marketing campaign, then you can definitely check out their professional version as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and check out the link in the description to get started with active campaign today and i will catch you guys in the next video